PBS is sometimes jokingly referred to as primarily British series because there are so many British programs. I'm kind of curious to know is what the balance is. Are, is. Is the BBC airing many American programs that they get from PBS? We air, um, I think people see a lot of British programming because that's what a lot of the drama is on public broadcasting, but you know, sort of an aggregate, the lion's share of our programming is not British. Um, we tend to have more British drama because um, drama is very expensive to produce and we have a, a limited budget. Our entire content budget is actually smaller than what an HBO would spend on the promotion of a new series. So that just gives you some sense of scale. So we really do need to look for ways that we can leverage the investments that we make and there's wonderful British co-productions and that's where we've done that. We actually have in the course of the last couple of years, we started a, um, an effort, actually it was through philanthropy, um, a donor gave us the resources to start a PBS channel in the UK as really a way for us to bring great American stories to a British audience. So there's BBS America. So there's PBS and America. PBS and America. I feel very strongly that um, that's important because so much of what comes from the United States that is brought to the UK as entertainment is really built on Hollywood, some of the reality shows and so forth. And I'm not sure that really describes America well. And so I, I've always felt that if we could create a home of, for Ken Burns, I, I had the privilege of being in the UK last fall before the broadcast of the Roosevelts and people were really excited you know uh, about about that program coming to the UK and I think that's a better representative of the United States than Honey Boo Boo.